How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here today. I can't wait to show you this plane. Stay tuned, we're gonna check out the Honda Jet. Honda Jet. This I am a kid at the candy store, guys. Today, this is such. I've seen this plane. I've read about it. I've watched videos about it. But this is the very first time I'm actually in the presence of one. And this is such a beautiful machine. And yes, Honda makes jets. Okay, they only don't. They don't only build cars. They also build jets, as you can see honda sign there so the honda jet is in the light jet category so this is more of like your entry level it could be a personal jet or a business jet and the owner of this bird uses it for both okay you can see man <laughs> i can't i can't believe i'm in the presence of a honda jet right now just just give me some time let me get myself together and i'll do this proper review for you so i'm just gonna go around it first so you can just just sit back and enjoy the beauty of this thing. One of the most, actually one of the unique aspects of this plane is as you can see right here, the engine is mounted above the wings. Uh, I don't know of any other aircraft that I've seen this or particularly any other jet. And the design for this was for different reasons. One, you see like when you're flying in this plane, it's, it has a quiet cabin, right? And this is also a Honda engine, T two turbine engines uh, will propel this airplane at amazing, amazing speeds. We'll go over the numbers a little bit later. Now, this is, I would say, Gen 2 of the Honda Jet. So the story goes, Honda initially, think of this as a pet project, okay? So some of the executives at Honda back in the 80s, they wanted to build a jet now. Imagine trying to build a jet and your, your cream of the crop are cars. So the concept for this really was back in the 80s, but this project didn't really come to light until the 2000s. And so Honda first got its type certificate, which is the normal process when you build an airplane, particularly a jet, uh, in the early 2000s, I believe it was 2003. And the first aircraft was delivered back in 2015. So this is a fairly new product. Actually think of this as, I would say the newest light jet in the market. And it's also priced very reasonable. As you can see, Honda APMG. Now the newest model is the Elite, but this particular one has most of the upgrades that the Elite has, and I'll go through it. But first, let me just show you some cool features. So. In the Honda Jet, in the nose, you've got a baggage area here, which will carry up to 100 pounds. And then, I mentioned those mountain engines earlier. I love this winglet here. Um, so, what this also allows you, you have enough room to get to your baggage compartment in the back. You can see how large the open here and you could fit people in here. <laughs> but you can carry up to 400 pounds of baggage in the back here. So this is a plane you can actually take a long, long cross country flights. This is a coast to coast airplane. And that's one of the reasons why you either buy or charter one of these birds. Now, speaking about those upgrades, I mentioned that this is considered this more of the middle or gen two of the Honda jet. So one of the upgrades is see this horizontal stabilizer here. This is bigger on this model and what that allows for is you can slow the airplane down i guess quicker also basically you, you get a little bit uh more drag not to get too technical but what this allows for is shorter takeoff so you need less runway to be up in the air that's one but also see this giant cut over here these are speed brakes okay you see stay clear speed brakes so whenever you touch down these babies just kind of spread their wings and you can slow down pretty quickly. Also, you've got upgraded hydraulics for your brakes uh, in this model. And then one of the last upgrades in the 
inside of the airplane, which I'm so excited to get in and show you guys, is you have upgraded avionics. So by upgraded, we're talking about the G3000, which you'll find in a lot of new uh, sophisticated birds, like the M600, the TBM940, always use a G3000 as well. So speaking of the interior, to get in the Honda Jet, you've got this nice door opening, and when you open, you've got step-ups. And let me show you where all the magic is in this bird. First, so if you're on the taller side, you're definitely going to need to bend a little bit. All right. I'm 5'10", and I'm not sure what the height of this cabin is. I do know the width. You've got about 60 inches. So you've got enough room. As you can see back here, you've got one seat right here. You've got four and more than enough leg room. So you're gonna sit four people comfortably. But also, if you move towards the back, something that's unique to a Honda Jet, particularly in the light jet category. Look at this. <laughs> now, who wouldn't want this? You've got a full toilet here and a wash base right there. And Look, even if you want to carry one more person, you can probably sit them back here. That's how neat this is. And you, you can always, you know, for privacy, there's a door that slides. But you don't need to touch down to actually take a break or take a bathroom break. You've got a bathroom right here. Okay, let me show you some other cool features. So, as I said, guys, you are sitting very, very comfortably in this airplane. Also, something I love about the design, you can see the size of the windows. I always take focus to this because i've seen airplanes or smaller jets with like really tiny windows but i imagine that if you're sitting back here as a passenger you want to be able to you know explore and look outside and these windows for the size of this airplane they're pretty good in size so you have that and this also looks like an emergency exit door right here you can see just the materials using this airplane man beautiful and speaking of materials so the fuselage which is basically the main part I'm sitting in right now. This fuselage is composite for the most part. And then those wings out there built from aluminum. Uh, so you use these materials when you wanna get better performance in terms of how light they are. And also when you think of aerodynamics and things like that. Hey guys, another thing that's really cool with the Honda Jet. So I'm sitting right now and I show you my sitting position. We got this nice pull out table here. You can also use it as a working desk if you want. Again, the leg room is just, it's almost unlimited. There's a lot of room between you. Right now, there's a ton of stuff on the floor. We've got enough leg room to just uh, do whatever you want. Or stretch your legs. Now, extra, extra cool feature here. Let me show you. So here I am, guys, right? So something that's really amazing, you've got these. Now, normally, let me get the camera properly with the uh, chair set in most planes you can scroll back and forth but check this out right now i'm sitting very close to the windows right so if i feel uncomfortable i feel like i'm hitting the side here this is what i do so look at this just pull this up and i could it's like lateral movement so crazy so that way i've got good elbow room here i've got space between me and the airplane and so i don't have to feel like I'm squished in this position. It's pretty neat. So boom, boom. Kind of like roll in a rotation. It's very, very neat, guys. So you can go back and forth, side to side. Awesome. Yeah. But let's get back to the interior. So you've got nice vents here, some lights. Again, you just watch your head. If you're on the taller side, you've got nice cup holders. This is a real executive business jet, guys. If you have a team or you're a solo pilot, you go places now. This is where I wanna be. Let's see, oh my God, <laughs> look at this cockpit, guys. Okay, you've got seat for two, pilot and co-pilot. One thing you should know about light jets, you only need one pilot. So you can see the panel here. I don't even know what the size of those screens are, but they're huge. So this is a G3000 package here. You see your standard yoke. You've also got touch screen. So that's another feature with the G3000. And man, oh man, this is, this is beautiful, guys. This is beautiful. And I get an opportunity to fly in this thing today. I can't wait. 
Um, but I, 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 I'm just speechless. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just speechless. This is your, your throttle quadrant right here. But this is all glass. Advanced as advanced can get. Okay. And I'm trying to see what's up here. You've got vents up here. I can't even see any of the what are the circuit breakers. Where are the electronics? Nothing. This is the cleanest cockpit I've ever seen. I mean, you've got some buttons and switches up here. But normally, I'm looking for a bunch of others. Where are they? But nah, I don't see it. But anyway, that's your cockpit, guys. Um, and then right here, in the middle here, you've got something for... Uh, refreshments and whatnot you've got some cubbies here uh, but again this is a plane that you can take places guys and you get there quick now speaking of let's talk about the performance so a Honda jet you have established numbers that you can find anywhere online so it is said that this plane will cruise at max 420 knots okay that's close to 500 miles per hour Guess what? With the upgrades that this particular bird has, I just asked the pilot himself and I said, hey, what do you usually climb to and cruise at? So according to someone who flies this in the real world, the sweet spot for the Honda Jet is 40,000, 41,000 feet. And this plane climbs at about 4,000 feet per minute. OK, maybe at high altitude, you may get lower performance. But the sweet spot for it is 40,000, 41,000. And at that, you're at 0 0.72 Mach. So you convert that now to miles per hour for my non-aviators. That's cruising at over 500 miles per hour. That's basically commercial grade or commercial airline speeds. Okay, so this airplane will serve that. Now, who is buying this or who is flying this? Obviously, somebody who has enough bank to be able to afford something like this but also think of the purpose of a light jet this can be used for part 135 charter uh, companies you can charter this with your crew or family and go places another upgrade that the elite model and this particular model has is you've got i guess you can call it an auxiliary tank so you have more fuel that you can burn and this will take you up to 1600 miles Again, this is a coast-to-coast -coast aircraft without having to stop for fuel. And also, economically, you're... So, depending on who you ask, okay, because different missions, when you think of the actual operation cost for this airplane, uh, the owner told me he's spending roughly a thousand bucks per hour for a jet. <laughs> that is as low as you can get, okay? And he says he could even spend less the actual operation cost, when you think of just the fuel and the basics, is about 500 or so. But when you tack in pilot costs and all the other stuff, because you would need pilots to fly this. If you're flying yourself, then you don't have to put that number there. But say roughly $1,000 an hour to fly one of these bad boys. And guys, it is, it is beautiful to behold. Now, how much does it cost? Okay, a brand new Honda Jet, you're looking at $5.3 million. I'm not sure you can find one in the used market. Maybe you can, uh, but you have to have at least $5 million to get into one of these. And again, the benefit is it's a jet. You can fly it on your own. You can always lease back to charter companies or use it for commercial purposes. The list goes on. But this is a dream for us all. Maybe one day I get to fly one of these guys, but this is my review for the Honda Jet. I hope you all enjoy it. I'm, I'm just excited. Honestly, I want to turn the video off and just go flying, but I want to thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. If you love and enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, my name is Mike. Also, if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to Mojo Grip. And guys, I will catch you on the next video. Take care.